Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. Well, last week I showed you how to take that champagne cork from New Year's and turn him into a little mouse. Well, now we're going to give him a friend and I'm going to teach you how to make this very cute little mouse right now. For this project, you will need a champagne cork, a regular cork, seven ball end straight pins, wire cutter, a hot glue gun, a box cutter or exacto knife, scissors, a cutting surface, stretchy glove, and a tiny pom-pom. The first thing we're going to do for our mouse is we're going to cut her ears. We're going to do different ears than the he mouse, but we are going to cut the ears the same way. We're going to cut about a half an inch, take your box cutter, pull it out, be very careful when you do this, but you're just going to kind of gently rock back and forth, making your way through the cork, just like that. And you're going to cut two pieces, and then you're going to cut a little pie wedge out. So starting in the middle, just cut down, and the pie wedge is going to be like a 90 degree angle. So find that edge there so that you cut out a little pie wedge so that it looks almost like a little Pac-Man. See that? And you're going to do two of those. Then take your champagne cork and a little bit of hot glue. Put the glue on the Pac-Man mouth and just place it on your champagne cork. Repeat on the other side. And let that dry really, really good. There you go. The next step is to add the arms, the legs, and the face. And to do this, we're going to be using ball pins. I think in the beginning I said seven. You actually are going to end up, I believe, needing eight will count together. Here's number one. Measure down about, oh, a pinky or a fingertip, fingertip there, and about, you know, half an inch to three quarters of an inch there. Just enough so that it'll stay in. Just put that right on in. There's your nose. We're going to do the same thing for the eyes. There's an eye and another eye. Okay, there's our little face. The next thing we're going to do is add some arms. Going to add those right up next to her neck. And this we're going to use a full pin. And just pin that in. Now, instead of using wire like we did in the he mouse for the legs, we're actually going to just use ball pins. And we're going to use ball pins for the tail as well. So right now we're up to five pins, and yes, that means that there's a total of eight pins all together. Okay, take your pin, put one up in for the leg there, and another one for the other leg, and then one for the tail in the back. The tail is what allows her to stand because you're going to need that base. There we go. Now, to make this a she-mouse, she gets an outfit. So, I've got my pom-pom there. We're going to be using a stretchy glove for this. These stretchy gloves are fantastic. First thing I'm going to do is make her a hat. And to do that, stay. I'm just going to take my scissors and cut the tip off of the glove, the finger there. And I need to make a little place for her ears so I'm just going to, at the top there, about halfway, cut a tiny little cut on either side. Just stretch it onto her head. Stand up. And there you can see one ear and the other ear. It goes right on over. There she goes. And I'm going to put a little drop of glue right here. 
and add a nice little pom-pom. Now it's cold and she wants a sweater, so we're going to take another one of these finger gloves and we're just going to cut this off at the base this time and cut the top off and just slide it on to be a little outfit. There she goes. And now she's set to go out in the cold. And there you have it, your very own champagne cork mouse. Now, if you didn't already see it, make sure you check out our he mouse that goes with the she mouse, and then you can have a matched set. For more great ideas, check us out at sophie-world.com. Beep, 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 beep.